So I want to talk about what I'm taking to be a fairly serious issue that's going on in YouTube, and I would love to get some response from people. I think there seems to be a clash that's resonating throughout so much of the discussion. I know you can see it certainly in some of the recent volleys that have gone on between Conference Report and Do Not God. Uh, so much of the stuff that's going on in the atheist versus theist community and in particular as it pertains to the role of science and the role of evolutionary explanation for why people do what they do. There is a mode of scientific discourse which is trying to explain why things happened and they do so in a how orientation. That is, they get out of some sort of fantastical why by looking you know, to a creator or to some sort of end of it and instead just move toward a description of the actual processes that were involved in the how of that process. I think that that is wonderful for so many things that don't have agency. And you do want to have explanatory theories for those things that do what they do independent of our talk about them. But humans, when you start to talk about people and you end up sort of saying that people are the product of various genes and the outcome of an evolutionary struggle and their behaviors are basically what had survival value and that becomes the main explanatory mechanism as much as all of that could be true we inadvertently are navigating toward a future while we do that we are leading ourselves somewhere and it's sort of like there's an explanation game that's going on that I find somewhat dubious and or dangerous. It's as if we're going to argue with one another about what is the case, but what is the case will just be the case. But our arguments are part of the praxis by which we, you know, we lead one another, we cajole one another, we persuade. I want to believe that an attempt at persuasion about a particular cause is a attempt to move toward a future in a meaningful way by thoughtful people reasoning about real uh, concerns. I don't want to just reduce all of this to, well, you're just basically replicating a impulse that had survival value and hopefully this mimetic stream will continue on in some other form, but just as it gets replicated. That kind of orientation, I think, is so antithetical to what we mean by reason, debate, and discourse. Okay, and I want to get us some First off, again, not only do I think that speech is about people intersubjectively navigating toward a future, and that's what we mean by persuasion, and that's why we reason and debate and argue with one another. If we're, if the only reason that we're trying to debate is not to actually have a debate and see where we're going to be at the end of the debate, but the only reason we're debating is because there's a gene that's taught us to debate. Why even have the debate? Please, people. Think about that. Try, try to think of the difference between explaining why people are the way they are and helping us become who we're going to be by the way of how we talk about how we are. See, there's, it's partly we're becoming who we're becoming as we understand how we got to be the way we are. I think we do want a truthful understanding, but the truthful understanding is that we are that particular organism who has been temporally... In evolutionarily enabled to navigate to its own future through its language and through its deliberation, through its speech and through its reason. Reason is what we have and reason is what we use. But to simply reduce that to survival value and thereby liquidate the actual reasoning that we're doing, that's just ridiculous. This is one of the main ways that <clears throat> I think you can see this discussion I, th I think the way that you can cut at this is the way that cultural evolution and natural evolution have just been conflated in so much of this discussion. From my perspective, 
as soon as the alphabet gets invented. By the time the alphabet gets invented, now cultural evolution is starting to outstrip natural evolution. No longer is natural evolution really what we want to keep our eyes on. I think what we want to keep our eyes on is the interspecies diversity that's happening from cultural evolution. Many people there on, on YouTube seem to be suggesting that we can simply explain ourselves. And if we understand how we got to be where we are, that will be sufficient. But the people who don't realize that we're actually moving toward a future as we explain how we got to be where we are, that's what's more critical. We don't want to deny all of the evolutionary uh, science. What we want to do is get a fair voice, an honest voice, to what cultural evolution is, how communication technologies have revolutionized the human culturally, from the inside out, it, it's not something that's evolutionarily pushing us along. It's a radical change that happens from first the alphabet, then the printing press, then the telegraph, and ultimately now from the electric revolution. All of these things have had radical changes. If you try to think of the way that lit alphabetic literacy, that the clock number have stabilized uh, experiences to the point now where it you might as well speak of it being a you know we're not a different species but uh, modern humans who are technologically mediated who do things like shoot YouTubes while they're driving cars after they got done shaving eating a toaster muffin uh, this is very very different than a person uh, who say lived five, ten thousand years ago uh, in natural rhythms to the world and in a much greater harmony with the other animals. We now see an the other animals as this alien presence. Now it's being recovered through an evolutionary science that is allowing great amount of explanation, but in explaining us, are we doing ourselves a disservice if we miss what reason is? Reason isn't something that just had survival value. It's what we use today, here and now, to help ourselves get somewhere. You can't just liquidate reason by saying that it's nothing but had survival value. It's partly what we're using to get to a future. Thanks.